Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm planning to write a program which prints one to n numbers without using loops. So uh, there are different ways to achieve the same result. I'm going to uh, show you two ways. One is using recursion and the second one is using range and lambda functions. So let's start writing the program using recursion process. First of all, uh, what is recursion? Recursion is a process which represents something in terms of itself. It's nothing but calling the same function repeatedly. I've already made a video on recursion process. So I'll add the link in the description section. Please go through the video. Uh, now I'm going to implement a function which prints one to n numbers recursively. So for that, first I'm going to declare a list here, empty list, then function print numbers which takes n as a parameter and if n greater than zero then that kind of n call the same function print num of n minus 1. Now I am going to read the value for n and uh, call the print function using the same value. So for that first if hyphen hyphen n equal to n equal to index input of enter n print number now I to print the list print n numbers. Yeah. So let me run this program. Now I'm going to enter 5 for so, so 5 to 1 is printed, but we need to print the numbers 1 to 5. So for that, I'm going to apply reverse function on the list before printing. So L dot reverse. Now let me run this program. So we have printed the numbers from one to five. And see, uh, we are printing the numbers in a list format. If you don't want to print the numbers in a list format, so you can just remove this uh, list part and you can remove this appending and you can directly print the value. Yeah. In comma and equal to and you can remove this uh, reverse function call and you can remove this print statement. So let me run this program now. So we have received the, I mean, we have printed the numbers from one to five. So, so if you want to print the numbers from one to hundred, we just need to pass hundred for uh, n. So so let me give some space in between the numbers so that it is easy to identify the numbers. So here I'm giving some space. Now let me run this program. I'm going to give 100 here. So now let me check the last value. It should be 100. So 100 is printed. That means our program printing the numbers 1 to 100. 
So in the same way, you can print uh, numbers from one to thousand or one to ten thousand. You just need to pass the higher limit value. So if you pass the higher limit value, uh, the program will print the numbers from one to that limit. Now we'll see the second method which uses lambda and range functions to print the one to n numbers. So this is the first method. And the second method is using lambda function and range function. Lambda and range functions. Before we start writing a program, I would like to share a few details about the range function. So first of all, what is a range function? Range function is used to return a sequence of numbers. It was introduced in Python 3. And range function takes one or at max three parameters, namely start, stop, and step size. And range function consumes very less amount of memory when it compares to list and tuple because it won't store the range that it is going to print. It just store start, stop, and step size values. And based upon the parameters, we can represent the range function in three different ways. One is with the stop value, and the second way is start and stop value, and third way is start, stop, and step size values. So if you see these three ways, here stop value is the mandatory parameter, and start and step size is optional parameters. So in the first example, I have passed only one parameter. That one parameter is nothing but the stop value. And if we don't pass any start value to the range function, range function by default considers zero as a starting point. So it printed the sequence from zero. Um, in the second example, I pass two parameters, one comma five is nothing but start and stop values. So it prints the sequence starting from one to five. And in third example, I have passed three parameters. First is the start parameter, second is the stop parameter, and the third one is the step size. Prints the sequence starting from one and next value with step size two. Range function won't print the upper limit boundary value. So if you want to print n numbers using range function, you always need to specify n plus one as the upper limit. Now let's start writing the program which prints one to n numbers using range function. So I'm going to implement the logic under main function itself. So let me copy this line here and click this under main function. And I'm going to comment this function call. Now let's see L equal to map of. So map function takes two parameters. One is the function and the second one is the sequence. So first my sequence is a range function. So one comma n plus one. Now going to convert that map output to list. And this I'm going to convert it as str. Now is equal to join of L. And yes, now let me run this program. In the first, I'll give five. So one, two, three, four, five is printed. So I'll just give some space to identify the result properly. So let me run this program now. Into give five. So our program printed one to five numbers. So in the same way, we can print one to hundred also. Let me test it for hundred. So let me run this program. 
So I'm going to pass 100 for end. So let me, so it does, it should print 100 numbers. The last number is 100. So our program printed uh, numbers 1 to 100. We can slightly modify this line. Instead of lambda function, we can directly uh, we can directly use the str function. So let me remove this. So now map function applies this str on each and every element of range functions output. Let me run this program. We should get the same result. Let me press 100. Yeah, we have received the same result. So these are the two different ways to print one to n numbers without using the loops. Hope you liked my video. If you did, please subscribe and support my channel. Thank you.